Welcome or welcome back to Nia Handcrafted. I'm a candle and soap maker in the Pacific Northwest and because I'm a candle maker in the Pacific Northwest, I need fragrance oils. I'm pretty picky about the fragrance oils that I buy. I don't want any with phthalates. I don't want anything that has any Prop 65 requirement reporting, meaning like I'd like to avoid carcinogens and known toxins. And I am trying out a new fragrance oil company today called Little Bee Scents. I have been um, stalking this <laughs> website for a little bit, been really excited to try them out. They have a lot of single note fragrances and also really different and interesting sounding fragrances. One that smell like carrot and radish and bell pepper and cardamom. And for somebody that likes to blend a lot, adding a little bit of those single note fragrances can really change up a very extensive fragrance oil collection. I um, am new to YouTube, so these fragrance oil reviews are kind of new, but I hope to give you a little bit more of them coming up as well as some more making videos. Um, if you really like fragrance oil videos, when I first started really diving in on YouTube, I found several and I was led astray by several. But just know that fragrances are so personal. We have a whole section of our brain dedicated to what turns us on and off as far as fragrances. They're connected to memory and emotion and so many things. So what I like might not be something that you like, but I'm just giving you my initial impression for reference. I really like woodsy stuff, spicy stuff. Um, I'm not a fan of really kind of old school floral, but I do like a floral that's mixed with other things. If you want videos on fragrance oil reviews, I highly recommend checking out Alan with Earth Glow. Um, Alan tends to pull out fragrances, compare them with just a lot of different companies and has a, and that he has a lot of fragrance oils just kind of like I do. And so um, I've gotten a lot of great information from that channel. Um, but without further ado, let's get into Little Bee Scents. If you are a candle and soap maker or your own small business, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to see us grow. All right, let's get this box open. Okay, Little Bee Scents, cute little sticker. I don't think these are biodegradable, so my first impression is I hope that those are recycled because I know that we can do better, but the other ones do look like biodegradable peanuts. Okay, let's see. Oh, I got a little sticker and a little scent of Milli Vanilli. I had to go on their group and see what their recommendations were. Sometimes it's helpful to join up those Facebook groups and see what other people are using, not just because you can, I mean, you don't necessarily want to rely on somebody else's preference for their scents, but they can tell you how it performed in soap and maybe how it performed and, you know, in waxes. Um, I use natural waxes. So if somebody is using coconut or soy, then I can tend to rely on those. So I got olive branch. Oud. Excited about that one. Another sample of carnation. Imagine me and you, chamomile, Jesus, beam, like a wood beam, agave, a lot of little smellies in there, a lot of samples, good for you, little bee, victory garden, this one is supposed to smell like, you know, all of the fresh garden and herbs, green tea. And then I did get a big one of the Milli Vanilli or eight ounce. Usually I get 16 ounces, um, 16 ounce sets. Um, but I these ones are a little bit more expensive. I have a lot of fragrances to go through. So I've been starting to get some eight ounce scents. So I have enough for testing. I think that that is it. This is like the kids, you know, looking to see if I got everything out of this big present box. Looks like I did, okay. I want to save the oud for a little bit, olive branch. Okay, so I got Capri Olivo from um, Nature's Garden, and that was really fresh. I actually put that into a candle for testing. So it's very lemony and bright and clean, almost like a spa-like feel. But let's see what this does for us. This is different. Okay. Oh, this smells like something. I almost smell raspberries. It's not bad. 
Um, it does smell like you're outside, maybe in an orchard. There's a lot of notes happening. Um, it's a complex scent. So sometimes when I smell this, I'm like, I have, I don't really know if I love it or not, but I want to get it in something and I'll have to think if I want to do this in wax or, um, soap. I did turn on my wax melter, um, because a lot of times when I make these fragrance oil videos, I'm, I'm either here or on Instagram or whatever, I'm going to give you my opinion on how something performs. But today I'm going to put it in a candle right away so that I at least know that in a couple of weeks I can tell you how it performs. Now I don't want to do wood yet. Let's do green tea. I have green tea and cucumber from Brambleberry, which is a really nice fresh scent, but it's very much more cucumber, um, which is not something that I'm over the moon about. So I want to see what this green tea is like. That does smell like green tea, like really fresh, like the leaves, um, you know, like when you get like, um, like the dragon well tea and it's just, you know, loose leaf tea. So it has a really nice smell. I definitely am leaning more candle for this one. It's a little light out of the bottle. Maybe that's one we, we can test. Chamomile, nice relaxing scent. I wanted to mix chamomile with some things like jasmine and lavender, um, or maybe even just on its own, but let's see. Oh yeah, it smells like chamomile and honey. This is really nice and fresh. I almost feel like this is a more, more better for soap, but it does smell very clean. It doesn't smell like fake. It's very gentle. Um, you could use this in somebody that doesn't like a lot of scent. They're So far, I'm noticing they're kind of light out of the bottle. And so we'll see how they perform. Millie Vanilli, great name. They have a lot of really great names. They also have Stop Hammock Time. So that was really clever. That's a good vanilla. That is a good vanilla. It's not, um, it's a lighter vanilla bean, but it doesn't smell like candy. Um, I, I find that a lot of ones like warm vanilla sugar and stuff that we might have like spritzed on everywhere in the 90s are just too much for me though. They're, the, the sweetness is too deep, but this is really nice. Might be one to try today. Victory Garden. So this is the one that's supposed to have the ones with like bell peppers and I'm thinking of having some kind of garden candle later in my line that I'll announce later, but we'll see. That does smell like a garden. I'm smelling bell pepper and the tops of carrots. Yeah, a little bit of radish maybe. It's very true to life and not that light out of the bottle. Ugh. I like, do I want to smell the oud now? Yeah, let's do it. And then we'll do a little sniffy. They said they have sniffies with every order. So you're able to um, put in some requests for the um, the ones that you like. And they gave me a few extra, which is super nice. And the, the, the bottles are really, really cute. Um, I like those. So, okay. Yes. This is what I came for with oud. Oh. Yeah, oud is a smell that is, if you don't know what it is, it's spiced and um, warm and it smells a lot like a lot of um, what's called ator, which is um, a oil that, a perfume oil that we put on before we go like to the mosque and pray. Um, or sometimes when you're going to meditate, then you want to have some of this on. So this is a transporter fragrance that takes you to another place. Oud is a really nice note in a lot of fragrances. Like sometimes I'll smell things and I'll be like, this just needs a little bit of a deeper spice to it. So this might be what I'm testing in a candle today because it's just lovely. Um, yes. Yes. Their fragrances are a little bit more expensive than I like. I don't like to spend more than $3 an ounce on a fragrance oil, which is why I get the 16 ounce bottles at times. And um, with the shipping, it definitely was maybe a teensy bit over my limit. That's one critique I guess I have. So for all of these bottles, um, I had a two day shipping was my only option and it was almost $30. Um, so that was a little disappointing. Um, so if I have to say any critiques at this point, like there's two that I could have had my shopping experience to be a little bit easier. One is that like the shipping, I was kind of surprised at the price, but I just went with it um, because I had had these on my list for so long. And the other one is that sometimes there's a way that you can sort by phthalate free or not phthalate free. My hope is that all, all companies would just like eliminate them if there's any question about their health safety that we would just make them all phthalate free. So for somebody that's shopping for the fragrance oils, 
Um, I liked the pictures, I liked the setup, but then when I went to click and what was phthalate free or not phthalate free, it's just a list and the text was very light. And for me, it was really hard to discern and read and then go back and make sure that what I had in the cart was on that list. Um, so those are my two critiques about my shopping experience. Let's get into some of these little guys. Okay, Carnation. I'll just do these in order of how I pull them. Oh, it's got a little plasticky thing. Oh, oh, that's convenient. It's got a little thing that you can smell. It's light. I just got it on my finger, but it does smell like a carnation, but it is very light. It's not like, it's like the carnations you get maybe at the grocery store <laughs> that have been sitting for a minute. I have had a little bit of allergies recently, so I could, I'm, I could be, yeah, it could be that just my nose is a little bit off. I'm saying a lot of these are light out of the bottle. It is totally possible that because of the cold that I had, that maybe my, um, Maybe I'm just not smelling as strongly as they normally would. So that's why I wanted to get some in a candle. So far, I think it's gotta be that oud. But imagine me and yuzu. That is yuzu, that's not, that is nice. I have used yuzu essential oil um, in soap and it did not retain very well. So um, I did like a yuzu and ginger. So this might be a nice alternative if you want to get that nice scent of yuzu, but you were disappointed in the retention of this, of the essential oil. Agave, I'm glad they sent this one. This is one I had my eye on. I love emerald agave from um, Brambleberry. It's nice and apple-y and very green and fresh. Oh my goodness. Yes. This is really fresh and green. It actually smells like I am smelling a plant. This is a really nice one. I'll have to come back for this one. That's agave. Beam. They have a lovely picture of a wood beam on, um, on their website. Let's see how this is. I smell the wood, but it also has a citrus note. I'm not gonna pop the notes or anything like that on here, but I'm just letting you know kind of what I get out of the bottle. You can look it up at Little B Scents and see what you think. Um, interesting, it's interesting. It really does smell like a wood beam. I think that if I had this one, it'd be a good blender. Um, I don't know that I would light it by itself, but there is a marker for that. There are people that just want to smell like wood. Okay. I think that they wrote about how with Jesus they were writing about like descriptions of his scent and so let's see what it smells like that is nice that is really nice again um those woodsy spice scents but a little bit of a floral um so this also you know is this something that you might see like somebody wearing in a perfume oil um in a Muslim community like super nice uh let's see They have a nice thank you note. Thank you. Be my honey. That's cute. Um, reminder to leave reviews. Of course I will because you're a small business too. Okay, so um, oh, which one? Okay, let's see. Let's smell wood one more time. I am so glad I got the 16 ounce in this one. Y'all don't know about that. Chamomile is also so nice. It's got like a honey element, but I feel like that's gonna be, it's gotta be oud, sorry. Okay, let's make an oud candle. I'm doing a 9% fragrance load on this candle. With wooden wicks, I don't really go above that. In fact, some fragrances you can go a little bit less. In fact, maybe I'll try an 8% because it was relatively strong out of the bottle and then see how it does. No. I think I'm, I'm going to do 9% and let's see how it goes and then go down if I need to later. Okay. My picture. If you 
don't I don't have the caps on it right now. I have some of them. I think I'm out of the little twist caps. Um, you can get those and they have like a squeeze bottle. This, although I have used Elmer's glue top, old shampoo caps, like just save those because they will save your life. And this is not my favorite way to pour, but it works in a pinch. So get your skewer kind of right against the bottle and pour down the skewer. And so I need about an ounce here. Let me pour my wax. Okay, I'm just gonna get the wax directly in there. Just need 12 ounces total together with my wax. This is the part where I stir intentions in. So it's not being sold. This is gonna be for my own testing, but I want the same intentions for me as I do for my customers so that I mix in um, kind of a prayer that the candle burns safely, um, that it fills my home with scent, that it makes us feel content. Um, and in the case of this candle, like a remembrance of a time where I was turned inward and more spiritual, um, and that that effect ripples out into my community. Then that effect ripples out into my family, community, and the world. Okay, let's pour this candle. I do not clip my wooden wick candles, um, like I say, sometimes the wooden wick can get a little off center and I might put like a, a heavier skewer or a chopstick next to it. I have really looked at the wooden wick centering devices from Nord maybe. They were reviewed by Black Tie Barn. Um, so I might try those out um, for my Aura vessels because double wicking those with a cotton wick was a nightmare for me yesterday. For my wax, I have noticed that the candles need a week to cure for me to test the wicks accurately. Um, two weeks is best so that you can test the hot throw first. Let's see how patient I can be. Um, but you definitely need to give it a few days time when you have natural waxes because if you test it a little too early, you might tend to, you might feel like the wick is not, or that the wick is not big enough. And in fact, you know, if I've been impatient and tested too quickly, I've, I've looked at a flame and seen it kind of be really, really tiny in one that I feel like it shouldn't be that small. Um, and then waited a few days and then seen that it performed a little bit more like I had expected. Um, but this one should be okay. I am going to marble the top. Um, this is definitely a candle that deserves a beautiful celestial feel. Um, it's gonna be like a galaxy looking candle. So my general impression is fairly positive of Little Bee Scents out of the bottle. They're a little on the lighter side, but the wax with the oud in it smells great. I don't suspect that this is going to be a poorly performing candle. The oud is going to be the first thing that I get in some soap, probably followed by the chamomile. Um, next favorites, probably the vanilla. It's a nicer vanilla than what I have. Um, let's see what else do I have. Green tea, Victory Garden. Let's see. There's something in that that's like sweet, like squash. So I'm going to put the green tea first. Green tea, then Victory Garden. Well, Victory Garden or Olive Branch. Probably Victory Garden. What does this smell like? There is like a um, another fragrance oil or perfume that smells like this, that when I smell it, it's not a bad fragrance. It's just one of those that, do you know, like you get a feeling that you know someone that smells like that and it's not necessarily your favorite person. <laughs> so um, that one is why that one is in last place. Not because I think it's like terrible. I think as far as the olive fragrances though, I prefer the Capri Olivo so far. Again, this is just my my personal thoughts. Um, So you may, I may have mentioned ones that you love or perform really well. If you have tried Little Bee Scents, please let me know in the comments below. I'm really happy about this oud. So if you're looking for a true oud, I have found it. No one's gonna convince me otherwise so far um and um i'm really happy that i tried them there was just some you know just the thoughts on shipping but nobody likes to pay ship pay shipping i don't think i'm unique in that um i just felt like it was a bit expensive um if i were to order again based on the um the smellies or sniffies i think they call them i would definitely order jesus 
I would definitely order Agave and Imagine Me and Yuzu. Carnation, I'm just not sure. It has such a light smell. And Beam, maybe if, if I'm doing like some, I have a line planned for like camping and so that might be a really good one. I did smell, I did get one from like the Outdoors collection last year from Flaming Candle that wasn't my favorite. It was Golden Oud and Clay, I think was the name of it. It's still very light out of the bottle. So yeah, I probably would not order this in a larger scent, but I do have a few potential new favorites from Little Bee Scents. Please remember to like the video and help um, us And thanks for sticking around if you did to this time. Um, I should have some information out either here or on my Instagram at nia.handcrafted um, on how this performed. So thanks.